spark on cancer we're going to be looking at what it is what action actually that you need to take this year using work your light oracle cards and um i have selected out the action cards from that deck so that we can see what action you need to take this year okay cancer let's have a look here action card for cancer please what action do they need to take this year and it is in a temple here we go devotion tune into the portal of your heart cancer love it getting right into that heart space right totally okay so let me get some cards regarding this for you One more. Okay, I'll just pick this one up here, Cancer. Okay, Cancer. In a temple. Cancer, we have the first card, the first two cards. Here is suppression and isolation. So the action that you need to take this year is to stop suppressing the emotions that you have pushed down so hard for so long that it was almost normal for them to be down there. Because that is really, really heavy. And I actually feel like, to be honest with you, this year, from what I've gotten about this year, actually, prior to the new year coming in, and this came to me probably... Uh, actually, it was on the 24th, no, 23rd, 23rd of December, and I was showing that there is a, a massive change in direction um, on a global scale. Okay, so this is for everyone, and this is this this could very well be on a personal level, um, energetically, um, spiritually, right? Could be something that we're not even aware of is going on okay but it's happening there is a massive massive shift and one that hasn't necessarily been picked up on yet okay and i feel as though there's going to be this release of things that have been suppressed whether you're ready for it or not so i feel like it's important for you to start working on this now Bring up what it is that you need to let go of and let go of that, okay? Um, which obviously is, you know, more work than just doing it like that. But yeah, there's um, there's, there's so much. It's, it's almost like the things that have been suppressed. How, how am I going to explain this? It's kind of like there's been certain things that you've been suppressing it's like it's split you in a sense it's like there's been this separation within you of you who is feeling positive feeling great and not feeling these emotions that have been suppressed right and this other part of you that it feels all this stuff, this burden, and weighed down by this, okay, you know what, it's so interesting, because I almost feel like I could be mistaking you for a Gemini right now, with this, this sort of separation of the two, um, but it's kind of what you've had to do to survive, it's what you've had to do to cope, uh, yet it's not conducive to you anymore, this needs to be brought back together because there's been a disassociation, okay? And um, it's that's so interesting because I never get this from the isolation card. This is a whole new thing that I'm seeing with this here, but I feel like this is what has happened. 
for some of you, okay? And, and what I love, 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 love the most here is that the next two cards we have are these major arcana cards here. And the first one is transformation and the next one is the master. Like this is massive. When you look at these two cards compared to these two cards, like wow. Okay. Um, so, you know, this is a huge transformation in your life. This you, you have everything that you need in order to do what you need to do. Okay. Um, and I feel like for this year, this is where when I'm looking back at the inner temple, right? Devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. This is what is going to help dissolve whatever it is that you have suppressed. Okay, it's going to bring it up because the, the fact of the matter is in order for this guy to get out of this hole that he has dug himself into, he needs to come up to get out. And this is what is needs to happen for you to get up all the stuff that you've suppressed. I want to say to you here, Cancer, that don't be afraid of it. I know that it can feel heavy and daunting. Through my own experience of having done healing work and all that kind of stuff, the experience of what has caused the things to be suppressed is often actually wor worse than at bringing it up and out, okay? Um, because it's not necessarily about going over and over and over a traumatic event or something that has happened to you. It's actually about sitting with the emotions and dealing with those, um, which are a result of what have happened to you. So you don't need to keep reliving what it is that has happened to you, okay? Unless, of course, that is going to help. But I want to say in that regard that it's important to have someone who is trained in releasing those sorts of things, okay? But I tell you what, it's worth it, okay? With this master card here, this is about you mastering and standing in your power of who you are. And I know you've had this come up before here, Cancer, okay? Um, and, and the thing is that there's you've been doing that to a degree, but you've been doing that with the burden of the suppression here. So not really being able to, because you notice here he's not in the daylight, is he? He's still in the dark. It's time to bring him out. Yes, there's been light shed upon him. But he hasn't fully stepped into the light, right? And this, I feel, is representing you. This is about you mastering the awareness, the consciousness of yourself. In order to bring that out, there is a huge transformation happening right now for you. It's whether you're going to take action to allow that transformation to help you rise up out of the ashes, out of the darkness that you've been in, that you've kept yourself in, to come into the light. This could be on a little scale, this could be on a massive scale. Right? It depends because all everyone's circumstances is going to be different. Okay? It could be that one little thing that you just don't want to address that you go, that hasn't bothered me for years. I'm sweet as. It's important to look at it because there's a reason this guy is sitting under the moonlight and not the sunlight. Okay? Postponement. Taking the time to do this for yourself. Because, see here, this this colourful picture here, this is what awaits you. At the moment, there's a little bit of colour in here, but there's still this grey, it's sort of this grey area, right? I've been in the grey area. So, yeah, this is super cool. This is really cool, actually, because I'm just looking at this bottom row of cards here, and I'm like, we have this here right, we are the world, and this is you bringing this colour into your life, this is you lighting up your life like it has never been lit up before, and people are going to look at you and go, Cancer, what have you done? Your life is so colourful now, 
it used to be so bleak, you're going to look at your life and go, wow, what was my life like before this? was like it's like living different lifetimes in one lifetime yep participation this is about you bringing all parts of your life into how do i how do i verbalize this bringing all parts of your life into one into one life you know like i was just saying it's like having different lives having lived different lives in one lifetime it's bringing all those into one so that you are joining everything in order to allow this transformation to happen okay slowing down making sure you are conscious and aware of what steps you are taking in order to make this happen Okay, not rushing in just to get it done for the sake of it. Not 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 rushing over things because you don't really want to do that. Okay, doing things purposefully, doing things knowingly, and doing things consciously. That is what is required to make this transformation happen. Okay, to break you free of the chains that hold you down from flying to the heights that you can reach. Because that is what has been happening for so long now. It's time to shed that skin, you cancer. It's time for you to fly. It's time for you to lead the way. It's time for your light to shine so bright that it's blinding like the sun. But blinding in a good way. Because it still leads the way. We have morality here. This is part of what holds you back. But I made a promise. But that's outside my scope of what I should be doing. I can't do that. I'm too old. I can't do that. I don't have the skills. I can't do that. I was taught not to. Look at what area is caged up here. It is the heart area. So what are you doing this year? You are tuning into the portal of your heart. How do you tune into that when it is caged? And I'm pretty sure it's you, Cancer, who has had a reading before about caging in your heart. Not wanting to allow it out to, because there's fear of it being hurt, right? But it's time, it's time to take off the blindfold, time to take off the restraints off your hands, and time to free your heart from the cage that you have placed it in. And only you can do that. Only you can do the work to do that. Suppressing all those emotions will only keep you doing the same thing over and over again that you've always done. And this message is here because you want change. You've asked for it. And the action needs to be taken in order for the change to take place. Okay. So let us have a look for inner temple here. In a temple here we go devotion tune in to the portal of your heart you are being called to be a devoted student and tune into your heart to incorporate true devotion into your life you could be called to develop a regular meditation journaling or chanting practice or to show up to your soul with rhythm to develop a daily practice where you fill up your well and spend time with your soul. All of the answers to all of the questions that you seek are waiting for you in the portal of your heart. But you cannot hear them unless you carve out time each day to listen. Your soul is yearning for a deeper relationship with you. And so, the more time you spend with it, and show up to it, the more clearly it will guide you. We are here to grow as souls. Earth is one big playground for the soul to learn. And you are being called to go deeper into your soul growth 
or to increase your devotion by being a student of a lineage or a spiritual teacher. If you have already been a committed student, then you are being commended for your devotion. Your guides want you to know how proud of you they are and that the time you spend in devotion is priceless. If you are questioning your career path or, uh, sorry, if you are questioning your career or life path, your guides want you to turn your focus towards devotion and this prayer. Okay, so this is the prayer. Please use me in a way that delights my mind, body and soul. May my life be one big moving prayer. Love it. So the action that you need to take is commit to a daily devotional practice. Okay, and you know, it could be as simple as saying that prayer every single day. Right? Come back and play this and say this prayer every single day. Yeah, please use me in a way that delights my mind, body and soul. May my life be one big moving prayer. 100%. So yeah, there you go Cancer. That is the action that you need to take for this year. Come back throughout the year to remind yourself of what you need to be doing to keep yourself on track and in alignment. Okay, because this is a catalyst for a massive change in your life and you're totally worth that happening for. So do it for you. Okay, Cancer, take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.